What if you could have a single device that mowed your lawn, trimmed the edges, blew off leaves, and could do some fertilization in the process as well? Well, that's what caught our eye, and this is the Lawnmeister. It's a product by Heisenberg Robotics. You can buy it just as a robotic mower, or you can add the modules, any number of them, to achieve all of those different types of functionality. It's app controlled, it has a lot of features. Let's get into it. As far as mowing goes, it works like a traditional robotic lawnmower in the sense of the physical blades. You've got three centrifugal razor blades, uh, little short razor blades that spin on about a nine inch diameter cut. And so that's a, that may seem unusual. You're used to these 20 inch, 21 inch, you know, push mowers and things like that. That's not how these work. Um, they need to be safe. They're mandated to be safe. And so those cutting blades have to be located inside the unit. And as the battery powers the unit and it goes around your yard, it's gonna ultimately get everything cut. It's gonna actually mow in straight lines. It's gonna do everything according to a predicted pattern that you have for your yard and get everything taken care of. We did notice the wheels have like kind of a dual uh, aggressive tread and it was able to get around and, and make those 180 turns on St. Augustine grass, which is kind of a tough thing to get around on with a robotic mower. I've seen other ones kind of spin and, and have some difficulty, so it's kind of fun to see um, that be the case. The other thing to note about it is just the type of cutting you're gonna expect. So if you have the dual battery system, we'll talk more about that, but if you've got this thing maxed out, it's gonna be able to cut a full acre, but it may take two days to do that. Well, once it gets that done, it's gonna keep maintaining your grass. You're gonna have that always cut lawn. Um, so it's not really about how much can it cut, how fast can it cut, it's really about capacity, making sure you have the right battery for the right amount of mowing that you're gonna do. And the other thing that was unusual about this mower was how it docked. A lot of mowers will pull forward into a dock. Um, this docking station for the Lawnmeister actually has a couple QR codes and it kind of backs itself in to the dock and, uh, and locks itself in place. It kind of reminded me of like a SpaceX rocket coming in for a landing, it was kind of bizarre. But it's cool because it locks itself in place that way. And when it does that, it actually enables a security system where you can lock that thing down so that people can't just pull it out. So you have a little bit of a physical retainer there on your unit uh, when it's not actively mowing your yard, which was kind of cool. Now the first module I want to talk about is the string trimmer module. It will spin at about 3,000 RPM. Uh, uses a small gauge trimmer wire. It automatically feeds that as it goes, but that's gonna allow a robotic mower for the first time ever to trim over sidewalks and edges because the way a robotic mower works is the blade is in the middle. And so it has to really overrun those boundaries in order to get the trim right up to the edge. And that's usually not how they operate. They usually stay away from boundaries or they ride against the edge of those things. This has that module that sits right off to the side and gives you basically a built-in string trimmer to go ahead and get those areas where you normally wouldn't get with a robotic mower. It also has a 300 watt blower module. And that module is interesting in the sense that you can now go ahead and have it programmed to cut your yard and then come back around and blow the leaves or blow those clippings off of maybe a walkway or the edge of your driveway or somewhere where normally you'd have to go out with another tool and get that job done yourself. Now this thing can be programmed and you can have the Lawnmeister go ahead and go out and do its cutting job charge itself back up, maybe go out again and go ahead and handle the blowing. And you don't have to take those modules on and off. You can leave them on and have it ready to go and, and use the app to program it when and how it's gonna go ahead and do those jobs. The third module is also pretty astounding and something I've never seen. And that is a fertilizer uh, container that's located right on the front. And the weird thing about this is you think, there's no way you can store enough fertilizer to go ahead and fertilize your lawn with like in a robotic mower. That's not really how it's designed. One of the technology pieces that's involved is kind of a vision system. And it can see your yard, which means it also can detect color. And if it can detect color, then it's also gonna be able to see if a spot in your yard is yellow and not as green as others. And it can actually walk up to that area as a robotic mower and spray a little bit of fertilizer on those areas as it's mowing and as it's moving about your, your lawn. It's something that I don't know that anyone has even thought of. So it'd be really cool to see that. Let's talk a little bit about the battery system because I think a lot of people always wanna know, how's it run, how's the battery work, what's going on in here? This actually has two slots in the back. You access the back by taking out four Phillips screwdrivers so it's secure and yet not too difficult to get to. We've had mowers where you have to really almost tear them apart to get at the batteries. Now the base unit's gonna come with one five amp hour battery. The extended run unit is gonna come with two five amp hour batteries. So you're gonna have basically a 10 amp hour unit. When the mower runs low and it gets to around 5% battery charge, it's gonna automatically go back to its dock. Then it'll recharge, get its battery back up to max, 
come back out and continue mowing, and it'll pick up actually right where it left off. Of course, if you look on top of the system, you see the complex vision system that uses a myriad of cameras uh, to examine its environment. Ultimately, that'll be what runs the entire system, but in the meantime, RTK is gonna supplement it to help it understand where it is in your yard and what's going on and make sure it knows where it is at all times. It also has like a front bumper. If it hits something, it's gonna stop, back up, and move itself on. It's got built-in 4G, and it's got built-in wireless. Also is a Bluetooth module, so when you first set it up, you're gonna connect via Bluetooth. It has all that in place, both for functionality and for security. So it's really robust in the amount of technology that's located in this unit that you're getting when you buy this product. It's also IPX6 rated, so it's good for being out in the rain. No issues there, as long as you're not trying to mow your pool with it. And all this brings us back to how much does it cost and when can I get it? Well, the good news is it's launching, or has launched, depending on when you're watching this video, on Kickstarter February 28th. There'll be a link in the description below. You're gonna find a super early bird price somewhere around $9.99 for the five amp hour model and about $11.99 for the 10 amp hour model. Now those are super early prices. You can expect the pricing to be somewhere around $17.99 once all the deals and early specials are exhausted. In addition to both versions of the mower, you can also buy those individual modules and they're gonna range in price from $89 to around $129, give or take. The mower's gonna come with a three-year warranty and you're gonna get a two-year warranty on the batteries. Even the motor that drives the blades is carrying a five-year warranty. I think this is going to be an interesting modular solution for consumers with yards up to one acre in size. It's gonna do a lot more than just a simple robotic mower, and it promises a lot. If that's you, check it out on Kickstarter February 28th. After that, you can expect to see it on the Heisenberg Robotics website. Thanks for watching.